Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. We are in middle of November. We did clear out the fields for farm number two. So there were enough laborers at the time to finish off their needs. So that farm is functioning right now. We had an issue with this family at the end of last episode who had run low on funds or starting to build up wealth again now that we've boosted the wages at least a little bit. Um, still got a whole bunch of honey even though we've got capacity for more but they haven't crossed through their, five, their need for 500 food for a one year supply for the family. So I don't think they can sell anything, that's my understanding, until they've got more than 500 throughout here. So that's still, that's what's going on there. Anybody else that produces honey and has large amounts? You have 159. We had you guys, 185. They got quite a bit of honey. But again, they could sell it if they, if they wanted to. And they can't. How about honey over here? You guys are sitting only 58. Hmm. So they've got the most. Over here, what do we have? Lots of apples and a little bit of honey sitting over here. We should be drawing all that honey into these guys. So we've got a capacity here of 2,500. So should be slowly drawing and she's... Now she's bringing in beetroots at the moment. She's emptying out all that we accidentally sent over to this one, I think. And actually, there's no beetroots there. So, one more time. You are... There are no beetroots there because you're bringing them back. Ah. Now, I had someone write in and ask about how you move oxen around. And would it be beneficial to trade them out before they get so old that they pass now can I I'm curious you are you've got 20 in here okay so if I were to ox and ox these two and well I need it I need space in here to be able to do this experiment let's get rid of a I guess a two-year-old cow just to make you know, space for 19 so let's do that and see if we can get one to leave. I want to know if I can move an old ox into here and then bring a new ox into there and swap them out and butcher the nine-year-olds instead of letting them, you know, die on the farm and not getting the benefit of them. So you are 17 and supply you are a laborer path from here to here so you're bringing more salt or you're dumping tallow i did move tallow into here just to open some space up ah, okay so but if it's you right there are no animals for slaughtering slaughtering a cow so you're off to go get a cow right now okay so once that happens we are we already at 19 we already are so can i take you now, I can't choose which one. Can I take you, click and hold? I cannot. Okay. Drop and drag to another farm to relocate. Well, let's just say you're the oldest ones. Can I take you and put you into here? Doesn't look like it, huh? Doesn't look like it. Now, what happens if I take the two-year-old ox? and put you in here. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can go backwards and then slaughter the, the older ones and replace them with newer ones. Don't get the sense that I can do that. Uh, age, show path, condition is of the plow. Okay, clicking again doesn't do anything and Drop and drag to another farm is about the only thing it seems like I can do. And it's just giving me the example of over here with the black line. But it won't let me pull backwards into the cow shed. Unless I need two spaces available. But I don't think that's a thing. Let's just, let's just verify that it is not a thing. We'll do one more. And as soon as you get the order, I'm guessing... 
you are still returning with the first one or just getting there yeah there you go cow should be following okay you are still 19 okay so let that run for a minute and just out of curiosity we'll give that a try and make sure 460 milk okay we're getting a lot more milk with three workers but we're not able to use it okay so it is definitely dairy time is that what's going on that's what's going on right there okay so dairy time and stock it up and see if we can't use some of that milk how's milk happening over here now over here 110 milk and it's also expiring pretty fast got two workers in there and after dairy we're going to tear the old that tree down then we're going to build a fulling mill see what that does and then the tannery before these sheep get up to their 30 mark oh we can store 30 over here okay otherwise we're at the end of november we've got whoa why do we have 223 fish? I've never seen a number that big before. And why are there not three bars of salted fish? Okay, that's kind of wild. You. 121 fish, but at least we're salting them. Huh. I don't know what to make of that. Okay, well... There's 39 coming in, I assume, from you. Otherwise, taking a rest, fishing, fishing. Let's... Wow. November, let's say December, you're going to continue working. Dairy's complete. Let's get that happening right now. That's over here now. So you, are at the bottom of this field, are going to be two workers and no sense of... rules men or women whoever is available right now okay and just leave that running so what's it going to take to get these guys salted we have plenty of salt is it that we've hit a, we've hit a limit 500 fish okay no more limits that limit made sense the first 30 episodes of the game <laughs> okay so let's see if somebody comes in going to work you're going to start salting aren't you yeah and we'll wait till you get there that's what it is we hit our 500 limit can't fish in the winter but let's quickly start salting okay so let's we'll give these guys another month so they can catch up on all those fish uh that thing was a thatchery got torn down okay um over here we are picking up 310 milk and not enough milk to start production but we will and we'll go ahead and start making all those things now, I don't think I've got a space left to sell cheeses and that sort of thing. Milks would have been right in there. So we could sell... We could pull the milk out and put in place something else. Otherwise, I don't have any more pluses. We filled it all in with fruit, I'm pretty sure. No, with, with mead. Yeah, we put some booze. Don't really need the booze down here. Okay, you can be a cheese. Um, you are all perishables, yeah. So you can be a cheese. And... There's another one. Let's see, what is the next thing that's made? Right there. You are on your way back. Supplying resources. Supplying resources. You're both walking back. Okay, two carts are coming. Great. <clears throat> Let's see if we get a little pop up. Oh, we gotta put the. Gotta put the. What? The cart's away that far? That far. Oh, you went to go get the milk. That was over there. Okay. And you are taking a rest. Okay. So, are you going to get to work or are you gonna go take a rest too? You're still supplying more milk. No. We're not calling for any. So I'm curious to watch this. You're putting a cart away. Okay. These carts have not been made yet, have they? No, we're still working on them. We have to get these done first. Okay, that's what happened there. Gotcha. Alright, so you are probably now taking a rest too. Alright, so when you guys get done 
So in that case, slow down. Do we have 18? We do. So I still cannot move two oxen, right? Grab you and drop you back into here. No. So we cannot reverse the oxen back into the cow shed and butcher them and then replace with new oxen. Okay. Answered that question. So what else? You are all the way over here. And that was our experiment last time. And she's like, whoa, <laughs> what happened to my tent? And she's gone. Okay. So you guys are done bringing in limestone. And we can store the rest of it over here till it's till it's empty. Otherwise, you guys are bringing in nothing. Oh, because we did that. Let's bring in 10,000 stone. Okay, there they go. Yep. All right, dairy. There we go. Cheese and butter. The first thing's being made. So cheese is going into there, and butter is going into here. And then up in here, cheese, 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 cheese. Now here, I've replaced both of those with booze. And I needed to, apparently, so that... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, these guys do buy from the market stalls, rather than going directly to a granary where it's stored. If I got that right... In which case, I need one more booth over here yet. Because I have a few more things to sell. So, you could be right here. Yeah. So, let's see. You, there. That's actually a match. Okay. Spin you around. And let's see if I can make this line up right. Real close. There's no way to make it fit, though. No, not without moving you over. Okay. So you're not going to go there. I could take the place of some of these benches. I could be kind of out here by a gazebo. <clears throat> I could do this. Take you away and put one booth right in there. This seems to be the pathway of traffic for the most part, whereas this diverts into the market. Okay, yeah, there's a space for one right there. So I had a perfect match. Now you are... Not quite, almost. F2? There you are. Gotcha. All right, spin you around. Back against the fence. Not like that place is occupied because of the walkway around us, so I can't be any closer than that right there. All right, so you, uh, what's let's which one? You're going to be perishable, so you will just stay there all the time. So I don't need to change anything other than just women. Okay, so worker, and you're going to be butter and cheese. And what was that other product? This one, Smetana. And I have one space left now. For, maybe for beer? Maybe so. That's the one more product. And there's going to be pottery that's got to go into here at some point, too. <clears throat> okay. So cheeses and all those have a place to go. Um, here. And whatever they made, it is gone. So at that point, I think we can shut one person down. And now that we've got the the big rush of milk out of there. And so in that case, we could get rid of milk in the market. Or sheep farm. What? Oh, sheep farm. Okay. Uh, cow shed. Yeah, no milk. I could not sell milk and just make cheese products out of it, or I can just leave a variety. I think I'll just leave the variety. We got milk, a bit of milk, I think, in here just a little bit, little bit ago, right? And we replaced it with cheese. That was here. 
Nope, still there. Okay. So we still have milk there. <clears throat> it's going to expire, but it'll be fine. Okay, so that part is done. You're done. Sells the milk. We have another 90 milk in here. Um, otherwise, we are working on the fulling mill next, which we cannot. Right? It's going to let us, even though it's frozen. Okay. Wow. That is a tremendous amount of wood. And still 6,000 more that needs to go in. Wow, okay. So you're going to be done, and then we're going to move over to the tannery so that we can butcher these guys when the number gets there. Marefa, then we're going to start working on houses. Diet of old age. Okay. You are up in here. And which one looks new? One of these two. So that would be you. Personal log. All right, you worked in the smithy, in the forestry, construction. Wow, quite the lime works, cart sheds, fishing docks, salt works. You were a wealth of skills. Yeah, boy. Okay, Marifa. Marifa does salt. So fourth, they'll buy 4,000 salt. Let's go here. That didn't work. There we are. We have 3,800 in town. Let's do 2,000 of it. And that should be sitting right next door in that shed. 2,000. So easy to get over here. Ah, uh, selling to you. Sunflower, no. Lime, dried fish. We could. Let's do something like 400. Deal. That's also stored nearby. Dried fish. Okay. And shoes, for some reason, are still sitting there. We didn't get all of them in last time. Interesting. Okay. So we have shoes available. Nah, uh, doesn't look like they take them. All right, so buckwheat, oil. Uh, we'll leave that one. Flour. Flour we will. It, has, it, it expires, so we could. 500 flour. Deal. And what else? <clears throat> Looks like that's it for sale. Hemp, wheat. All right, wheat, what are we looking at? We just did a crop, but how quickly are we eating through it? Wheat, 700. It does go quick. Yeah, we'll keep making flour out of it. So, world map, where are we at? We're at 5,400 in the treasury. We are definitely making money well now. So, let's... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Try it. Yeah. Come on. Did they leave? That's why there was nothing to click on. They're gone. Wow. Okay. And I just blew, I don't know what that was, 80 or 90 gold to go get them back. Bummer. Okay. Um, so we've got one worker through the winter who's working on the last of the sunflower. And right when we started, there was actually, oh, I don't know, a thousand there and 600 of something else. So she does a pretty good job all by herself through the winter. Okay. Uh, there's our, our foundation. <clears throat> Interesting. So it's not really boats floating. We're still on piers of some kind. Be interesting to see how this really works. Look at the curves going in. Yeah. Sit back and watch this one.
So we've got some gears that have come in. Rotating shafts. Interesting to see just how this works. So what rotates the shafts? Is there a paddle wheel coming in or what? Wow, there's so many parts. These things must swing up and down. Looks like a hinge system here. And they've gone home. Okay. So, going to construction site. You're on your way. Going to... Going to... That's three. Four. Four immediately and one soon. Okay. Let's watch the rest of that. there. So this is the paddle wheel here then. So water flows through, spins this guy, which rotates this guy, which causes these to, I assume, do this. Don't know if we're going to be able to see it once this roof walls go on. And I got two messengers waiting for me, so come on guys. We're almost there. Still have 3,600 wood to go in. Okay, so messengers, let's go down to speed one. 24 days left and 17 days left. So, Jakachi, let's just pause so we can finish that. And let's send off some charcoal. So, in here is 12,000. Jakachi, where am I? Right there. Ah, right there. So 5650, we'll go ahead and sell that deal. And sunflower oils we did not last time. Let's see, that was Marifa. We sold salt and flour last time. Durkachi. Clothes, no honey. We've got 17. Let's sell. Let's keep about a thousand in town. So let's sell 800 deal and move 800 into here. And we're talking land trader, yes. So honey, 800, there you are. And temporary that one. Okay, Dracachi still close honey apples. Apples we getting really low on. How what condition are they in now? Apples we saw all the way over here. Are they still here? They are. There's 29. And I think we're gonna sell 300 with that much bar left before they're all done. So we'll sell them to our own people. Alright, so Dukachi, let's finish you up. Nothing else to sell to you. Except maybe shoes. Yeah, definitely shoes. You can handle 1235, so let's deal that one. And shoes, 1235, okay. So let's just change you to 1235 temporary. Yeah, I made that easy, okay. And as soon as somebody comes to work, they'll deal with that. World map, Dracachi is the longest distance, so we should be able to pull that off. Um, shoes, wheat... So I was going to buy wheat from Marifa, and that's when it went away. Leather, let's go ahead and get another thousand leather. 250. We have plenty of funds to pull it off. Uh, pigs, cows, horse, iron. We didn't buy iron last time, so let's do it this time. 500. And deal on that one. And sallow, we got last time there's still 200 sitting here okay dried fish and potatoes we've got potatoes in stock right now all right so that is you let give me marifa all right who is this one marifa there we are i wanted to buy wheat so let's buy 1000 wheat deal nothing else to sell you don't need to buy broadcloth warm clothes 
All right, I think we're done there. All right, let's finish this up. So paddle wheel spins this shaft, which then spins this shaft. And faster we are building up. Now that I okay, can, we're getting ready for the roof, is what we're doing. Okay. <clears throat> And more folks coming to work soon. <laughs> you are. You are. Three more coming. Four more coming. Oh, so we've got to attach it to the land now. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Putting the big... Pick piers in. Gangplank. Yeah, but that's quite convenient to be able to do that on ice. Aha. Rather than o on open water. That would be difficult to build. Okay. Let's hire you. And I'm curious to see what happens. Fulling mill. Could be anybody. And we'll just... We'll see when that hires. Okay, so next you guys are going to work on the tannery. And I wanted to tear down the... Is it done? Now, where are you? Soap works. No, I wanted to empty you. That's what it was. So let's hire two people to get the emptying done because it's it's taken a long time to get get this one finished I set that one in between episodes all right you are out of money interesting so you're hurting on income taxing you at five is not working okay so you're not a big money maker whereas the surgeon probably is so you're basically just a household is what I'm starting to see there. So barber surgery, let's take you down to, let's see, let's what, hold shift. There we go. And take you up to 75, like the land taxes. Let's go that route. Oh, I did the wrong one. Keep you up there and take you down. All right, tavern tax. We'll try that just to see how that goes, and we'll give you some of your money back while we're learning how to deal with this. So let's put 10 back into your, uh, into your household and keep you going. We do have four incomes here, though. But apparently it costs quite a bit to buy this stuff in order to have it to sell. I don't know. We'll have to see how this works. And I wish there was a sense of people's needs specifically <clears throat> more so than just health and clothing quality so we can see their education and that's about it personal log is just about work so we don't know if they are in need of visiting a chapel we don't know if they need a entertainment for a tavern we don't know a lot of things we just have to provide it and hope it's enough. Interesting. So you are going to go buy some carrots. And you're going to buy some flour. With the funds that came in. Which are constantly adjusting up and down. Oh, drop two there for, for uh, paying for the buckwheat, I'm assuming. So are others about to go in and... People who are not family, do they go in and, there's one, and you just went in back out again. You're taking a rest. Nothing like a snowy day to make you appreciate the warmth and comfort of home as you visit the tavern. Uh-huh. And she, okay, the chill in the air is invigorating. And isn't she the one we were just looking at? Visiting a tavern. And now you're taking a rest. So they do visit a tavern. 
Now the income here isn't for people working for jobs. They all, I assume, work here. Let's just run through that real quick. Stephen, Stefan, Tavern, yep. So, Sister Olesa, Tavern. So those are your, taking a rest, your, your job title. Okay. So, this is the money coming in to support all of them, their foods, and to buy new supplies. Interesting. So, I'm curious to watch the wealth fluctuate up and down. They had about 20 when we checked in last time. Whereas these guys had like 450. We've been chipping away at it. Now they're at 650. So they could definitely go up. Treasury. Let's take you guys up to 10. Whereas the, the uh, tavern just cannot do it. And why that is, I don't know. So they're on their way back to 10 again. So we'll let this one just kind of happen. So I wish I knew, wish I could watch them go and pick up more. There it is. Well, someone's buying this one. I want to see an up arrow and then see who's going to get it and where they're getting it from. Now, I would imagine if it's like the other thing, when it gets down to 10, then they buy enough to bring it back to 100. So, we'll see if that's their pattern. Otherwise, we are nearing the end of February. Things are starting to melt. Fulling mill. One person's in it. He's getting a drink of water. And you guys are building the tannery. And I was told the sheep farm shears their wool in the spring. So, hopefully see that happen. We're at 7 including the one baby we saw last time. And I want to see where these guys actually go out and find a, let's see, a tannery. Let's hold off on that one yet. We don't need to employ you. Where are these guys, what, what fallow fuel these guys are going to use? Last time, I never even saw them. I didn't see it till I was editing. They apparently came over here and used one of these. Though I tried to look after I saw them first run across here and go up. I never saw which one they went into. I don't know if they shared the one with the cows or if they went in after a crop was finished or you know the, the following year's fallow field or or what that was. That was that was kind of odd. Okay, so you are waiting, no wool or for broadcloth production. And Marifa is back. And Tannery, you guys are not happening yet. I don't know when that is, if that's March or April or May or just one that is. Um, I don't think there's anything else we really need to sell you guys. We're in here picking up things at the moment. You left with nothing, so you dropped something off. There's a thousand wheat being delivered. Okay. And you've got, you're picking up a thousand coal. And you're probably going to pick up coal as well. No, nope, boots. Buying boots. 235. Must have been 1,235. Yeah, all the boots are gone now. Okay. So, there's still... No, 500 iron we dropped, we bought. So, that's it. All of these. 1,000 wheat is here. So, when they leave the map, then the gold is theirs. I guess that's how it's working. Okay. Um, what were we waiting for? A couple things. First of all, 10. Okay, so you've evened out. You, wool, we're waiting 353 wool. Okay. So, and have the animals hit... Yes. Look at this. So they're, they're hitting random fields. The cattle are now heading over to farm two. Where are the sheep? You taking a rest and shearing sheep. So we got to shear the sheep first. Cattle are all heading over to 
there. Interesting. So maybe it's whichever fallow field is in the system that needs the most help. We're down to 43% here. Uh-huh. You turning? You're turning. And we found a blade of grass and we stopped right there. Om, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, so you have sheared. And supplying resources and taking a rest. Supplying resources, you're going to grab some more hay right there and you're right back in again. Good. Now you're going to haul the sheep out of here? Or have the sheep been hauled out of here and I didn't see it? Anyway, you are taking a rest. Soon you're going to grab that wool. I want to watch that happen. So I assume that... And you're supplying more water. Okay. Milking sheep. So we still have sheep indoors here. So working... Just sitting there, and you're done. You're going to be coming back in, and let's see if you haul the sheep out or if you're going to go milk them. You are working. Okay. No hint of what working means. Uh, use fallow field. We have one fallow field over here. Your potatoes. You are sunflower. You two sunflowers this time. No, I didn't click hard enough. Buckwheat. Over here, we have two fallow fields. No, we have a buckwheat and a wheat. Okay, how did that happen? Fallow on the third, fallow on the fourth. You're supposed to be fallow now. Did we... How did these things get out of sync? I had that all working. What happened? This is the one that I just altered. Knowing there would always be a follow in this group. And I had you guys set up. Okay, that's that's wild. Okay. So we are shy one fallow field this time. Bummer. Okay. Well, you guys do your things. So we're going to have, what are you? Barley, hemp, buckwheat, wheat. This was supposed to be fallow. So I need to move the fallow over to this slot next time. Because this will be two, three, four. This will be the next fallow field, next year's. And that was supposed to be fallow now. I don't know how that happened. Last year we had one fallow field and everything was... Yeah, I'm not even going to guess. Okay, so you are ready to demolish. Let's move you... Yeah, we'll leave you right there. You're all... Only three people are up and running right now anyway. What are you? Oh, you're the first of the smaller houses. So once we get... These all moved out of here, and these materials moved out of here. Make empty. I should be able to lay out four more houses in here. And then this neighborhood will be pretty much complete. Okay. Um, yeah, the ashery. Okay, so we've got cows in there. The sheep cannot share. And that's where we are. And you're running. So you're standing over there. Can't quite see what you're doing. We are rotating in here though. Boy, I wish I could get closer. But it does look like they're going up and dropping. Yeah, it's a... Interesting. So like a cam system. In there. Uh huh. And you are making broadcloth. Okay. It's happening. So, at this point, well, we'll be making broadcloth here. And I know we're not going to make it at a rate that uh, makes a lot of warm clothes. Broadcloth there. And it's kind of hard to make the sheep skins. 
with the sheep that you're using to make the broad cloth. Is one's always going to take away from the other. Um, this is going to be happening soon. Okay, so you're over here. We are middle of March. Uh, sewing. Done. Halfway. And then we got to get to you. Over here. Sewing is just barely beginning. We're getting folks over here. Uh, where's the... Oh, this one up here. Doesn't need plowing. That's why it didn't look like it. Okay. So we could put the sheep outside. Seven trees left. We could just make a little pasture and put them outside so that we won't burn through all the hay. There's always that. Um, is there anywhere that's convenient? These are hay dryers through here. And, I mean, I could just pop them over here just to give them a place to go. We could. Is there a minimum size? You add pasture. Um, are there any other voids nearby? Voids in the woods. Can I... Too small. No. Okay, so without putting trees in there, which means it's not going to get done, can I get from here... Barely. So I could do something like this just to give these guys some place to go. We could do that. You are now associated with that and going to work and getting sheep to pasture. Okay, so here's the, the sheep parade. Heading into there just to get them outside. One, two, three, I think there's two there. Four, five, six, seven. There are just too many legs under that sheep. Yeah, that, that's a little creepy. <laughs> okay, so seven sheep on their way out. Right? Seven? Seven. Yep. Okay, so house over here being built. And add to our population a little bit, though I don't know that we have any jobs for them at the moment. So we could start thinking about jobs. I want to get a few more jobs going before I start laying out any row houses. You guys are jobs that we're not ready for yet. You are the other fulling mill, which we won't need for quite some time. And otherwise we have houses to pop in or hay dryers. Oh, I stuck some hay dryers up here in the trees. I thought they'd look good with the windmills. Okay. Um, otherwise, we have a field that we're finishing off. We're working on those trees right now. And we have a bridge over here to get done, which would be nice to see. And then eventually this orchard. Okay. This bridge is way out over there. And I just don't see that happening anytime soon. So you can actually head back to the, to the back end. And then the other three houses. Okay. So I want to lay out houses in here. And then, I don't necessarily need to build those houses, but there will be houses there eventually. So we could then look at another neighborhood over here, but again, we need to get jobs going first. So now it's time to figure out what that really means. It could be a clay pit and brickworks and pottery into this area. Could get back into our soap and ash. We could do that. Okay, and now we know what the soap works looks like. Okay. Row house with stores. You are the first thing that I want to put in in regard to row houses. Where you are going to go, I don't know. Um, what is considered straight? I guess it has to do with the bridge here. So, you... Do they just run up the middle? I'm... Too many things going on right now. I want to lay out more industry, but I don't want it in the way of the row houses. But I don't know where the row houses go until I see where the industry lays out. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
And I haven't seen very much activity here. I really haven't. Since I put those in. Any warnings going off? No. We're nearing the end of March. People are going to go back to work soon. Until then, we need to get the sewing done. Are we done here? We're sewing the last field over there. You are halfway done and we have all of this. So there's going to be room for sewing for a while at this farm. Okay. We really need more houses on this side before we need more houses on this side. We really do. So you go back with those guys. We need to lay out houses over here. So that the farm and whatever happens in this area starts to function better. We're starting to employ more people here and there and there. Taking away even more people from the farm. So they need to be over here. And they need a, a market out over here as well. Okay. So, we know where this is going to be. We know there's a road that comes through here. We know there's a road that goes through there. So we know enough to be able to start laying some things out. The only important trees being taken down right now are this field. So we could start taking trees out over here. Okay. So let's make this road go straight into at least there by placing these guys here and let's start playing with this so if you're going to be there market could be anywhere it doesn't have to be within a certain distance so we can put the market in the center of whatever this turns out to be. So you're going to be something like that. Now I'm getting conflicting comments. Which usually happens when you open up your series to comments. House should be within, yeah. So one comment is put this to the back. The sidewalk in between will split this to left yard and right yard and give you two different crops of a sizable quantity and the comment says no it'll be the same crop but it'll be split in half two of the same thing and now you've wasted a bunch of room on a sidewalk so I don't know I don't know what to believe that's why I, I tend to do my own experiments just to find out for myself so we could go back to the original idea of something like that you're going to be like there, pathway up the side, and as much room back here as I can get away with. About there, there. Actually, we need to probably flow with this guy long term. which looks something like that. Okay. And this is a main road, so let's kick this out a little bit wider. Oh, I right-clicked. Arr! Okay. <laughs> Sound like a pirate. Arr! Okay, so... Yeah, let's do that again. But this time we're going to start one house in. So we'll start there. There's enough room to get another house alongside that if I go right about there. So F1, you're going to come down into about like so. You're going to kick out like that until we hit too long. And somewhere out over there. Okay, so you're coming in. Hit the T. Zoom in. So I'm going to build one of each and we'll get them built. Well, there's a lot of trees in there. It's going to be a while before that happens. So I can see for myself which one of those two comments was correct. So you are going to be... We'll work with the front. 
like so, even though that doesn't fit. Move you over to where, to where you match. It's hard to get in 90. I wish it would snap to 90 easily. So a little bit further. That looks pretty good. You're going to come up and land something like that. You're going to go in except for a reasonable pathway up the side. You're going to go over and you're now too long. So you come down to about there. This is the sort of thing I would probably lay out in between episodes so I can be as precise as I want to be without being annoyingly uh, holding up the episode just to get it perfect. Okay, so if you go there... Is there any... See, I don't know if there is a space in a sense that the game counts as a minimum amount of room on the side for a pathway. I'd sure hate to build all this and find out this never happens because they can't walk around the backside of their house. So let's go with that one. And let's put in one more. Um, you were aligned the same. And F1, take you to here. Got that first one right, so the rest of them should be pretty easy to match. You're a different house. Look at the different size of the, the house's footprint. Interesting. And there's still no sense of rotating through. There's no F1, F2. No. Okay. So I can't choose which house. But you're going to go there. You're coming up something like that. Something like this. I still have to get every one of these right, or the next one's not going to match up as far as, as straight. That looks pretty good. You're too long somewhere. There. I think that's okay, but the it isn't as big of a space, so let's kick it over just a little bit more. That looks pretty parallel in that direction, too. Still not as big as that one, but I think it's as good as we're going to get. The house is bigger. And that's right. And then we're going to try this one back over here, off to one side. And I see we are off a little bit back there, but that'll be fine. No market stalls nearby. That's fine. Though I can't let these move in. Until I know that they can get foods. So we'll do that. So let's get those guys built. Where are we? April. Oh, bad time of year for this experiment. But it may take close to a year to get another 30 trees chopped down. Yeah. 17 and 15, is that what I'm getting? 13 and 17. 30 trees. All right, so these guys will build. And we'll do maybe, I don't know, 6, 8, 10 in here. And then have our road... Our road actually pops in right there. So we could go for a while. I wonder how many we should go without a road in between. Don't know. This is going to run like this. Very not in alignment with our, uh, with our boundary back there. Don't know if we'll ever use this area or not, though. But that's going to give us... Yeah, we'll put in 6, 8, 10 in here somewhere. Let's see how that works. So a market would be where then? Maybe right across. If we go 8 or 10, maybe the market's right in here across the street with a school and a chapel and other things like that. Support services. Okay. So speed you up, number 2. Um, April fish is happening okay um, everything has been pulled out of those markets everything but buckwheat should be gone over here we're still pulling a lot of honey out of here okay these folks still have 285 honey so they're they're eating the 370 or whatever the the honey was 
at the end of last episode. They're eating it. Um, they've got now seven something in wealth. If they were zero, then they were up to five. You guys, your ten is down to six. So you already can't handle this either. It may be because there's so many people. There's all these people living here. That's what's going on. Interesting. So we need to get more houses going just so we can get young folk married off and out of the households. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's put a second one back. It's going to be a while before those other houses build anyway. So we get two in there. There's five over here. Should we just build them? You are the Soapworks. I do want to get rid of you as soon as possible. Okay. So we get houses that pop up. That one just, just said out of water. And married and moved in. Let's find out who you are. Out of water just means they ran out of water. And they're going to go get another 100. The well over here has got plenty of water. The well over here has got, pl uh, well, it's got enough water. And the well over here has got plenty of water. So plenty of water in the area. Plenty of water they can reach. Um, you popped. You are from this household. And, uh, let's see. This household. Okay. So we still have a lot of people living at the tavern. Yeah. So, yeah, we're trying to provide food for seven people. And we're having to buy that food. Even though we have this much of an income, they're still having a hard time getting access to that much food. And how are we doing food wise as far as what's actually in the markets right now? We have some garlic. We've got our the foods that we're producing. And there's a there's some of these left over. And got some booze in there, things that we're growing. Okay. So there's still a good variety in there. We say we have some cheese in here. We still have some old apples and they're doing fine. And some meats. And we've got supplies otherwise. Salts, oils. Yep, so it's it's happening. We're, we're still supplying variety to our folks. Okay, good. How are you doing? You're down to 136 logs from that original 290. Okay, so it won't be too long before we get to tear that one down. We did tear this one down right here, and I think this goes away too. I think the brickworks goes away and moves over here. Now you say you need somebody else to get logs. You still have 17 logs, so you're fine. You just you just make firewood so that these can fill up. So I'm should I be concerned about charcoal? It's been a while since I've seen any char char char. There's no charcoal. Okay, we've been selling it out of here. Has it been replaced? We still have our 12,000. Okay, charcoal sits in here. None. Charcoal sits in here. There, none. You are firewood. There's 600 firewood in there. There's no firewood here. You're going to work. Okay. And I've got you working most of the year now, and you're really still having trouble keeping up with firewood. Let's put a second person in. We'll do that. So charcoal is hurting. 1,800. 2,000. 2,600. You're using only firewood now. And there's 4,700 in there. Okay. And I was thinking about speeding you up again, putting a third person on or fourth person on. Salt has been dwindling. 3,200. Let's put two more in. Actually, how does that work? We're not doing a um, seasonal hiring anymore. We could. We could go back to that. 
turning you off in March and August and making the off just two. Okay, so two of you leave those months. Okay. Over here, we are making broadcloth. We have 150. And there's the other 150. Alrighty. Sheep are just sitting out here. Just chewing on grass. Okay. You were... What did I say? 40-something? Beginning of the episode, you're up to 64% on the red. Okay. Um... And I'm at an hour. Wow. Okay, it's over. So I need to lay out some industry in here. And I need just to sit back and think about it. What goes where? So I'll probably do that off camera. Give me a chance just to stare at it a while and mumble to myself incoherently. <laughs> I might lay out a few more of these. In fact, maybe I'll lay out until we get into this void and then we'll build these too. Or something like that. Okay. Need to lay out a market over there. I notice the school is full. And up here, the school is basically full. Okay. Chapel doesn't seem to give a sense of fullness, but we it's mostly probably just a distance thing. We've got three of them now. One, two, and three. So we might... This one's over here. Might be close enough. We could stick another one over here. We could. Let's just do it. Little chapel right over there. Yep. One tree went, got in the way. Oh, that's fine. We'll take the one tree down. Any more trees popping up in our pathway? Pathway's looking pretty good over here. Nope. Nice and clear. Great. Okay. So, work on industry. Maybe think about a row house or two or five. And work on more of our Burbage plots over there. And I guess that is it for now. Back up to 20 cows again. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks. And we'll do this again next time. Bye.